we need to trust science, but to do so, we have to understand science. My name is Aurélie Jean. I live in Los Angeles and partially in Paris. I am a computational scientist, CEO and founder of In Silico Veritas, and CAIO and co-founder of Depix, a startup, a new startup in healthcare. I was seven years old and I was in the kitchen having breakfast with my grandparents and listening to the radio and it was a radio show mentioning a study from MIT on a research team working on doing some calculation to understand, to answer whether we have to run or walk under the rain to be you know, less wet as possible. So I thought it was funny and I remember at the end of this show my grandfather looking at me and saying, see? You can do everything with math. As part of my life, I have many missions. One of them is to actually decrease the gender gap in my industry. When I was a research scientist at MIT, one day I asked the girls, you know, why you didn't learn coding before? And you know what they told me? Because we haven't seen you. It was an eye-opener for me because I realized that I have to, you know, to introduce myself more so they can see me as an example, like a role model if you want, yeah. Actually, I talk a lot to boys and men because they are as well our best advocates and they have to support girls, female students, and female professionals, you know, in that field. We all have cognitive biases. We see the world in different ways, depending on who we are, our gender, sexual orientation, religion, language, culture, anything. We tend to transfer those biases to the things that we produce. Eventually, those become algorithm biases, and that could lead to what we call technology discrimination. One of the solutions is obviously to diversify the group of people who are developing those algorithms. As I always say, technology is for everyone, by everyone. Yeah, three years ago I was at Bloomberg, and I had this idea of uh, card games something tangible, you know, to learn about something that is actually pretty much abstract, you know. The goal, and which I think has been a really success, is that different people of different age around the table playing that card games, and we find the answers all together. Talk to people who did it. Talk to people in the field in which you want to work. Have support. I mean, sometimes you are so into it, you don't really see uh, the obstacles or the mistakes or, or the opportunities, too. When I decided after launching my company in 2016 in New York, in Silico Veritas, to actually run entirely the company, and it was a big jump, you know, because that, that's scary, you know? You know what? It's interesting because I always thought with my brain, always, really. I mean, for the first time ever, I listened to my heart. I was scared because I didn't know whether I could make money easily. And you know what? The first six months are, are hard, you know? But I realized that I really want to run my own company entirely. I really want to spend more time with my grandmother. It was the beginning of something bigger, yeah. Empathy. For many, many years, we tried to make people aware that being a leader meant being tough. And I disagree. Being a leader is being sympathetic towards people. And as a leader, you manage people, you know. What is my age? Many things. 
you know, there is this famous quote in Spider-Man that I love, which is, with power comes responsibility. At my position today, I have responsibilities. I fight every single day for equal rights, equal opportunities.